Hello and welcome everyone to this video on concept of role inheritance by Zarenti. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hello. Welcome to today's class. Today I want to explain to you the concept of role inheritance. For that, let me open up a new supervisory organization. So I use the prefix SUP and I look for one existing supervisory organization by ID. Let's see what options we see here. So I have IT operations. Let's search IT operations. Now, if you see, look at this supervisory org. There is a superior organization and there are subordinate organizations. Superior organization is Information Tech 2022, which is the parent organization for IT operations. And subordinate organizations are all child organizations under IT operations. So IT operations falls under Information Tech. And all these 5,000 Sudar core, internal systems, network and telecom, network and telecom building, all these come under IT operation. The concept I wanted to explain to you is the concept of role inheritance. If you click on the roles, now let's filter by manager role. So I have manager role here. Let's interpret the manager role. Now, if you see here, Logan McLean is the manager of this organization. And the role is inherited. So what this basically means is this role has been inherited from the parent organization. This is the concept of role inherited. If you do not assign any role to an organization, the role will get inherited from the superior organization. So let me show you. The parent organization here is Information Tech. So if I open Information Tech in another tab, I'll show you. And if I click on roles, and um, let me filter by manager. Now you see, this is a role. This role got inherited to the child organization. So if I click on the details here, if you see, IT operations is the child organization, the information technology 2021 parent organization, and the roles have been inherited. So if you do not select any roles, the roles will get inherited to the subordinate organization. However, if you want, you can also assign roles manually as well. That's, that's all. Thank you. 